guys it's cozy kitty here and welcome back to the channel today we're going to get into my winter skincare routine so first things first i'm using the shani darden cleansing serum and i like it because it's gentle on the skin and it doesn't really have like too much going on there's no fragrance and it just it does what needs to be done so right here i'm just giving you guys angles you know trying to figure out um <laughs> how to do this type of content because it's still something new to me but it's coming together so i also double cleanse that's something that i think everybody should do i cleanse my face twice usually i use the panoxyl first because it's uh, good for fighting acne it's got the benzoyl peroxide and then i'll go in with the cleansing serum by shani darden so that's what i'm doing right here yeah i don't know what i was thinking right there at that moment but now i'm just rinsing everything off I should have did this without having my ear pods in, but um, you guys will see. Definitely drop one down the sink. <laughs> I almost cried. I had to, I had to catch it before it fell down. Yeah, my sink's kind of messed up, but that's neither here nor there. So next, I'm going in with the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Extra Strength daily peel so it's a two-step process so the first peel has the alpha um, hydroxy acids you know salicylic acid it's got the beta acids as well so salicylic glycolic and all those good you know acids that your skin needs to help rejuvenate, remove, exfoliate, get rid of the dead skin, and bring out your new skin brighter, better. And so I started using these. And I actually really like them. It does sting, so you'll see me doing it like, yeah, without well, my nose. and Kinda, it's not irritating, like, that's so like to the point where it's unbearable but it does it does sting because it is the extra strength because i needed to do what it needs to do but they do have a version just regular version that isn't extra strength so it's not as strong so while i'm waiting the two minutes that it needs to sit i'm going in with my toothbrush because you know we can't have funky breath um yeah it was really burning <laughs> Again, like I said, not unbearable, just kind of like irritating, like like a fly buzzing around. Fly buzzing around, it can, it can be kind of annoying, but it's not gonna kill you. So, brushing my teeth. Um, what, what can you say about brushing your teeth? Make sure you do a good job. Um, brush your tongue. I used to have the tongue cleaner. Um, I need to get a new one. I would like to get the metal one. I used to just use like the plastic scrapers. That's what a tongue scraper. I used to have the plastic ones that just come in a pack. Um, but I think I need to invest in the metal one. That way I have it. You clean it and just reuse it. I think you have to change them out, of course, over time as well. But I think that's something that I definitely need to invest in. My teeth, uh, need to become a priority again um i used to wear braces <laughs> i had it all i'll try to find a photo one day face gear rubber bands had to tighten the retainer lip bumper you name it i had it i ended up having to get them taken off uh, because yeah <laughs> i wasn't able to continue taking care of them while my mom was on deployment so they took them off needless to say my teeth are 
they still look decent but i have a retainer that i need to be wearing so that they can get back how they need to be you know so i'm taking an obscenely long time to brush my teeth or so it seems i feel like it's been longer than two minutes since i put that those pads on but we got good smelling breath over here so then i think i'm going to take some mouthwash Oh, there I go. Gotta scrub the tongue. Yep. They have like a little baby one on the back of the toothbrush, so I use that, but it doesn't really do it justice. It, it could be better, but yeah, we're what we got, right? So I like to rinse my mouth out, rinse my teeth, go back in. Uh, I don't know if people do that. I know sometimes you're not supposed to like go back in with water like afterwards or I tell you like don't drink water after brushing I don't know I don't really know I probably should know but it is what it is I'm just gonna use my mouthwash and while uh, I have the mouthwash doing its thing I'm gonna go in with the second um treatment well, it's not really a second treatment, it's more of a neutralizer, so it just neutralizes the acids that were in the previous wipe. So I'll go in with that one. Wow, gargle. <laughs> then go in with that one. Oh, nope, gargle again first. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. So now I'm finally wiping the second pad on and again it's just a neutralizer for the peel it's got aloe vera you know just a lot of like calming cooling uh, tea green tea extract to kind of soothe your skin after going through that chemical peel process it doesn't dry you out like i said or flake or anything it's not a professional level peel I guess you could say I mean it could be considered one because it's so extreme but it's not gonna like have your skin peeling or anything like that so teeth clean face peeled now we're about to get into I think my toner toner pads so pixie glow tonic has been one of my favorite go-to toners for the longest time they were all out of the actual toner that you would just pour on like a, a cotton round. So I had to get these, which is cool because it's already done for you. You just grab them and go. Oh, this is me saying I need to get a facelift. Like, yeah, I need that. Like my jowls are jowling. I don't really like that, but everybody has their own opinion. But at the end of the day, it's my face. And if I want to do it, I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. So now I'm using the toner pad. These also have glycolic acid. I uh, do use a lot of the acids on my face, but they're good acids. They're good for your skin. And you just kind of got to, I would say, use it in moderation to see what works best for you. Um, because my routine is not going to work for everybody. And everybody's routine won't work for me. You just gotta trial and error, see what works, and then stick what works best. These are the things that have worked best for me. And yeah, I actually did get them from <laughs> another YouTuber, a YouTuber that I like. Um, and it worked pretty good. So this is the Laneige Water Bank Blue Hyaluronic Night Cream. Again, I'm getting older. So I have to make sure that I take care of my skin, especially my eyes. That's like my least favorite part of my self, I guess. Because uh, they're all dark circles, puffy. You can't really do too much with it. Like, if you guys have any suggestions on what I can do to get rid of it or make them a little lighter, I'm, I'm all ears because, baby giving raccoon eyes mm. Mm, it's not the prettiest thing so then i'm going to go in with the glow tonic serum again glow tonic it's got the 
glycolic acid, helps re revitalize the skin. Hyaluronic acid keeps the moisture, and that's what I need. Like it's winter time, my skin's gonna start getting real dry. Um, I live in the desert, so it's like heat, dry, cold, and just a mixture of three. Definitely just got something in my eyes, so my eyes are gonna be rolling for the remainder of this video. <laughs> like twitching it looks like it even got irritated like puffy but that's fine the show must go on right so now i'm just smoothing all that in and then I'm, what i'm going to do is start rubbing into my skin but also lifting my skin right you don't want to rub down you want to rub up because you want your skin to go up. You want the elasticity to stay in your skin and you want it to go up. You don't want it to droop down. You don't want it to sag. So when you're putting on your facial creams, your products, you want to put them in an upward motion. You kind of just go the way you want it to essentially. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, now I'm trying to let everything kind of soak in and settle so typically um okay i think this is serum time actually i'm getting ahead of myself but let's see i was trying to keep everything clean i don't like having mess everywhere so i was cleaning as i go and then i was feeling myself i guess okay girl i'm here for it yeah, so this is the Blue Hyaluronic Serum. I'm just going to put that on because, again, I need all the moisture. Moisture is your best friend when it comes to dryness, winter, the elements. Just keeping your skin as lively and healthy as possible. Moisture. And there I go again. Smoothing it in in an upward motion. Make sure I hit the double chin too. Yeah, I gotta work on that, y'all. <laughs> That's my goal for 2024, to get rid of it. You know, it's hereditary. I know a lot of people actually have them. Um, but yeah, I gotta get rid of it. So that's this Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Luxury Face Oil. Typically, I would put that on at nighttime but because this was in the daytime i would skip that step because i'm about to go outside and i didn't want my face to be extremely oily so i just settled for the cream moisturizer um, i had that i have this cute little stick but i don't use it it's just there so i put that on my face and really let that soak in because again like i said moisture is my friend i have really really dry skin and i don't know how to um get rid of it like i know you know they say moisture 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 you know people have oily skin moisture and oil actually help combat the oil but i don't i don't know what i need to do to keep my skin from being extremely dry i'm pretty sure it's the elements and probably could get a humidifier and just do different things to keep it that way but it's a work in progress so i'm gonna continue this routine and that has been helping so here i go get, getting that, that double chin in there and just making sure i get all the product in because at the end of the day if it's not you know and getting in there here I go, worried about a facelift again. <laughs> I mean, it looks better, y'all. Like, honestly. I, um... Now I'm talking about this mess on the top of my head. It's time for me to do something with it. So, I'm taking it down. Um, I don't really wear my hair out. I don't like an afro, like, without the hairband. 
I don't know why. It's not my thing. Not my preference. I think a lot of people pull it off well. I'm just not one of them. <laughs> and I also like how it makes my face look like when my hair is tight, it's pulled up, it's snatched. It's giving that face look. Face look? Okay. Face lift look that I want, you know? I think, well, not think. The piece of clip got stuck in my hair, and it's actually not a clip, it's a bra strap. <laughs> yep, I use a bra strap to tie my hair up. It's, just the, it's the best thing for me. I thought it was so cool doing that little jump, y'all. Don't, don't. <laughs> don't make fun of me. So now I got my edge control. I got my 10 in 1 hairspray. And I got my Miracle Curl sleeve in. And then I just kind of go at it, honestly. Whenever I spray my hair, I always feel like soul glow. Such a soul glow from coming to America. I don't know. But that's how my natural hair always makes me feel. But we get it done. We make it look presentable. I am going to, this year coming up, start um, trying some new hairstyles. Maybe with my natural hair. Maybe putting my natural hair up and just letting it continue to grow. Because this, this had its ups and downs. Um, I bleached it. If you can see the like golden tips I bleached it a little while ago because I had planned on cutting all of it off like sweetie just going like full ball full blown bald and letting it all go back it's still a possibility but all the my hairdresser hairstylist they say no you just need to trim don't cut it just trim it so I've been cutting like little pieces of the damage in as I go but what had happened was I got this cute silk press. Then you know how you just know, like, yep, my hair is too straight. This hair is too cute. Yep, they got me. So it kind of ruined my texture, but at the same time, it's not too bad. Like, because it loosened it up. It's still thick, but it's definitely damaged, and you can see it. You can see it when I wear it out. Um, that's why a lot of times when I do my hair like this, I, um, I do a roller set and then I'll just let it kind of run its course. And then when it's starting to look a little eh, or I'm not feeling it, I'll redo the roller set. Yikes. My camera had cut off, so yeah, I apologize for not getting the whole hair. But I'll definitely give you guys a tutorial if you want it. It's really super simple. Just tying the band around the front, pulling it like like you're tying a knot, pull it, and then just slide it up in the front and then push it in the back up. So now I'm just taking some water to like define these little curls on the side a bit more. Yeah, it's giving, and I think in a few minutes here, we're gonna actually be on the video audio. I won't have to do this voiceover anymore. The only reason why I was doing it was because I had my Bluetooth on earlier, well, throughout this video, and it garbled everything because I dropped them in the sink, so they kind of messed up the whole audio, so I was like, all right. We'll improvise, we make, we make it happen over here. So, voiceover it was, but yeah, I'm over here feeling myself a little bit. But yeah, this is the hair, it came together. And um, we're about to be on video, <laughs> video audio in just a moment here. Yep, just a moment. Any second now. All right, bye bye. My phone died, but we're back. So, this is the hair. It's 
sorry if you missed it. If you missed it, I'll redo it in another video for sure. But that's all I do. Finishing touches. Boom. I need to get some mascara, honestly. But some gummy bear flavored glowy lip balm by Laneige. I love their lip mask. It's like a sleep mask. Fire. I'm saving this for the ball. I'm saving for that whole weekend. Maybe. I'm glasses off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, put the real one. On the neck. The rest. Don't do this. Don't do that. It disrupts the chemistry of the perfume. It makes it not last long. Just spray it. Spray it. So my kid taught me. This is what she does. She spray her arm, like all the creases behind the legs. I did neck. I said, oh dang, that's why we smell good all the time. So I can never get mine to last so long. She's like, yeah, do that, mom. So I don't know what I do today, even though. Know. Where are we going? I don't know. Alright. So that's pretty much it. Is that anyway? Can you see the thing? Is it giving? Top that I showed you guys from Skims. Sorry, the washer. This is like a top and a medium. And it's actually, if it's pretty good, it could be tired. Like you see all this, it's kind of big. I think it could be tired, maybe. What do we think? Yeah. Okay. The pants I got in a large. I can always get my pants. A size bigger, but yeah, it's just uh oh, but it's giving. Yeah. I'm using a gimbal, so it's acting up right now, and it's also on the charger, so I got a lot going on, but yeah, so that's the outfit. I'll post some videos of it in here later. This thing don't know what act right. Alright, well. But that was the pretty much daily routine. What I do. A little extra because it's winter time and we have to take care of our skin, so. Is it giving? It's giving, but I really need a, you know, just a nobody nobody wants me to get it but mm, i'm 
almost 40. Yeah, I'm almost 40. I gotta start now. Hey guys, voiceover Cozy is back, and these are the photos that I took. Yeah, they have a filter. I, um, I like how I look with a filter, okay? It's, uh, something that I have to get over, but also, too, something that I'm working on creating for myself mm, in real time, I guess you could say. But again, here, I just want everybody to be comfortable with who they are, what they want, and how they feel. And if you want to change anything about yourself, change it. Um, I'm not here to stop you. I'm just here to make sure everybody feels like their most authentic self and whatever that means for you. So again, thank you guys so much. Thank you guys so much. Wow. For watching. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!